Hello and welcome back to my channel. Haven't done a video for a while. So this one here is for our villa in Paphos, Cyprus, Aurora Holly Villas, uh, villa number one. And this is currently it here. I'll take you through a little bit of what's happening in there. There's our car, we got that from Elephant, just, just off to the airport. That's a seven seat of that car. It's quite nice, quite spacious. And then if you look around the ground, you've got a lot of lovely trees. This little driveway here is what you'll be coming down towards here. That's where all the other villas are down there. And another little tip for you, if you come along here, you've got a little blue fob on your keys. Now, if you use that little blue fob down there, there's a gate, there's a button on the side. And if you press this button on the side, you'll probably just about see it just now there. Press that button and that gate will open. And then you literally just walk down that alleyway there, there and goes down to a beautiful beach and you can see a lovely sunset from there. But the key fob needs to be touched on that keypad there for the gate to open for you to come back in. But it is well worth a look. Again, so this is our villa, this is around the side. It's a really nice place. Here's the other villas here. There's villa number two, that's what we we're supposed to have, but I'm glad we had number one now because it's really nice. So just come through here. Now we had the key put underneath the mat for us when we got here, because we got here quite late, but he still came in and gave us a little welcome message um, with some bread and some milk, which is quite nice. So remember I said about the little blue fob, there it is there, it's on the key. You need to put the um, key inside this to make all the electric work, the air conditioning. Some stuff stays on, <clears throat> some lights. And so you walk in here, and you're coming into the lounge living area. Two sofas. Now that air conditioning is lovely. It is really, really cold. Dining table there, really nice size. Now the kitchen's fully equipped. It's got a really big fridge. You can get all your essentials in there. We filled up at Philippos Supermarket. You need lots of drinks. Um, full size cooker. Dishwasher, which we haven't used. And washing machine, which we haven't used. Microwave inside the cupboards. There's six of everything, six plates, six cups, blah, blah, blah. Everything needs cookers in here. Extractor fan. And that little window leads out to where we went earlier on. And yeah, like I say, there's a TV over there. Now there is some English channels on there. I think it's from Dubai. There's movie channels, there's not BBC. There's BBC news like you normally get when you're away, but there isn't really anything um bbc like if you love your english tv then i think you're going to be in trouble for a week or two weeks and um, it has got hdmi port on the back so you can bring i don't know your alexas or something like that um so off the main living room apart from the pool area which i'll get back to you in a second we've got this little annex here so this little door leads through here to another private area so if you're with another couple or older kids they can have this little place little toilet there and then this door here leads to a twin ring. We haven't used this, just me and my wife staying here. So there's only two of us, we're only using the room upstairs. Twin ring, and then if you look out here, it leads out to the pool area. Also this room has a full ensuite. So you've got full size bath, toilet, and shower again, we haven't used this one. And I must say, this villa was so clean when we got in here. There's not one speck of dust anywhere. Um, cupboards, two built-in wardrobes. There's some sheets and towels and pillars up there as well. And the beds are all made up. And normal plug sockets. So when you come in here from the UK, don't worry about any adapters. You just use your normal plug sockets, three pin plugs. And also, I think this room has got a key. So yeah, so like I said, if you're staying with another couple, it'd be a really good place for them to stay and then separate themselves. Coming back into the living room, just gonna shut this. Now this little cupboard here, there's the Hoover. Is it Hoover? Yeah, Hoover, mop, 
ironing board, all the essentials. There is a hair dryer as well in that cupboard in there. That little hair dryer there. Um, yeah, so like I said, the air conditioning is brilliant. Every, every room in this house has got lovely air conditioning. Now come out to the pool area. You've got another dining table. There is six chairs. We've taken two upstairs on the balcony for our morning tea. Here we've got barbecue area. All the barbecue and everything's in that cupboard there. No briquettes or anything though. A sink that works and a plug socket. Now it brings me on to the pool. It is lovely. It is nice and cool. It's, it's quite deep. I'd say it's about five foot deep that end. And obviously this is shallow end. Um, it is lovely. And again, nice and clean. The lady's been here about four times cleaning this pool. Got six sun beds. There's three over there. We use those ones in the morning. And then over here, this is where we set up for this afternoon. Which is sun stays here until sunset. There's the little ensuite we said about earlier on. There's a car port there, so when you park your car, you can come through. Outdoor shower. Or your net to get all your toys out. Lovely little palm tree. And there's a nice little view of the villa. Really, really nice. Love it. Upstairs room, we can go up there in a second. And there's my room. That one there, where we're we staying in there. So literally it's got everything you need. You won't have to bring anything apart from your sun cream and your clothes. It's real it's a real home from home. Umbrellas. A well needed umbrella during the afternoon when it gets a bit hot. Lots of foliage around here, it's well kept. Now we're gonna go upstairs come back through here marble stairs so just make sure your feet are dry before you walk in here everywhere is marble lovely staircase now we can go up here the two bedrooms are up here again lots of plug sockets so left hand side this is the room that we're staying in nice double sized room nice comfy bed Mm, pillars are a bit tough for me, so you might want to bring your open pillow if you're a bit fussy like me. Air conditioning again works lovely. I think these windows go out to the back of the house. Yeah, they're frosted anyway. And then there's another bathroom here. Bathroom and shower. Full size bath, full size shower. And we don't know what these buttons are for. Maybe we'll find out. Again, wardrobe space. There's blankets up there, pillows. Loads of space in these wardrobes. Ah, oh, there's a safe. Huh. Didn't know the safe was there. We've only been here five days, so yep. Yeah. There's a safe, I don't know how that works. Maybe you just use the key. Hmm, it's quite spacious. Oh, okay. And some drawers in there as well. And some more cupboard space. Like I said, it is really home from home. It's very clean and very tidy. Then this room here leads out to this lovely balcony. And the beautiful sunsets from over there. Won't be long about couple of hours it'll be a sunset like I said that little alleyway that you walk through is just there next to these lovely places and um, there's an apartment building here not a lot of movement there this week but yeah all the same as apartment there beautiful views and there's another little beach like I said you need to go and explore it yourself but just down here as well it's a little rocky beach it's quite a hill, but it's worth the, the trek down. It really is. Then we come back into here and move across the landing into another twin room. Again, we didn't use this room. We just used this room for um, dressing room. Again, they've got these lovely dressing tables here and another bathroom. Another bathroom in here, full-size bathroom, toilet, 
bath and shower. This hot shower as well, it's lovely. Um, again, the beds, I think they're comfortable. Let me check. Yeah, lovely. Nice and comfortable. You've got bedside tables there with lamps on. And then you come out again through here onto another balcony. It's where we've been sitting to have our morning coffee here. Here's villa number one. Here you've got a lovely view of the pool and coaches going into the hotel. So overall, I would say this villa is definitely a 10 out of 10. I mean, we stayed in a few villas over the past few years in, in Cyprus, but this one here is a definite 10 out of 10. It is a lovely place. It's really, really nice. Just give you a pan out there. And then you've got the marble stairs. I'll just say the only thing, if you're worried about slippery stairs, make sure you dry your feet before you come back in. So that's the villa. Um, any questions, just leave it in the comments below. I'll try to answer it. I think they've got a website. Um, I've got a page here for booking and etc. They've got a little information booklet here. Here we go, reception hours on there. There's a big booklet full of all information, restaurants and stuff, if you're not familiar with the area. But again, if you've got any questions about the area, then drop me a line and I can answer any questions you've got. I do come here quite often. So if you do need any local information. Now getting here is quite easy as well. And um, you're literally just driving to go into Coral Bay. And once you get the directions, you'll know exactly where you're going. It's easy to find. Okay then, um, like I say, if you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below. Bye.